All right, guys. So uh, Kefla is now going to be in Dokkan. The official Dokkan Battle Twitter page have announced that Kefla is going to be in Dokkan. She is going to be sub a summonable character. Probably within 12 hours of me uploading this video, I was going to upload a, a, a different video. But seeing that this has just dropped, I want to talk about this unit. This unit real quick. Um, this happened This happened exactly the same way when Ultra Instinct came to Dragon Ball Super. Keflo came to Dragon Ball Super in a few days ago in the last episode. And immediately, when a hype character comes up in Dragon Ball Super, it's going to be available in Dokkan basically the next day. So before I actually go talk about the character, to talk about the unit, sorry, let, let let's get into the, let's get into the art. I'm I'm really digging the art. Finally, a uh, Universe Six uh, Saiyan has some muscle tone. The other one, all the the Kab Kabe, uh, Khalifa and Kale, they don't have any muscle tone. They're all scrawny. Um, apart from when uh, Kale goes berserker mode. But let's zoom in a little bit. So I'm really digging the hair. The eyes are different compared to the Saiyans that we normally see. Uh, but that's more like a Universe 6 exclusive. They just have a different face to them. Uh, really liking, just really liking the art. And by the way, this is a level 100, an undokan unit. Ultra Instant Goku uh, was released without a Dokkan as well. So keep that in mind when I talk about the unit itself. Because this, this, this unit is is really 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 good like i'm almost lost for words at how good this is and how broken it's going to be when you put this girl on super phys super physical team how broken she is when she's got a dokan so um i'm gonna hop over to the reddit page right now and talk about the actual um big shout out to goresh on reddit by the way getting these translations out so let's talk about the unit SSR Kefla, the fused warrior with a deep bond. Her leader skill, Patara category units, key plus two HP, attack, and defense, 120% up. Finally, we get the Patara, Patara category. Um, this follows the same pattern as the uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, where it's before he Dokans, it's key plus two HP, attack, and defense, plus 120%. So when she Dokkan's, it's going to be Patara category, key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense, 150%. That is big, guys. That is big. That means you're going to be able to put on this team uh, this Kefla, who's going to be your lead. Then it's going to be Vegito Blue. Then it's going to be the new physical uh, Super Vegito, who's just released on JP as well. And then it's going to be LR Goku Black, who also is going to be part of this uh, Patara category because he has the Patara earrings. Um, you're going to, have, going to be able to put on Merge Zamasu, uh, Rose, and then Tech Vegito for support. And I think, and I think maybe even the physical 40% uh, Gohan. Yeah, he's got the Patara. I don't know if they're going to put him in this category, but he definitely has those earrings on and he's a 40% lead and if he's part of this category given that most of your you and LR Ve oh my goodness LR Vegito Blue when he drops he's going to be in this category oh wow that just came to me oh my goodness so so Kefla LR Vegito Blue uh so he's probably going to replace yeah he's probably going to replace Vegito Blue so it's LR Vegito Blue so it's not going to be that broken LR Vegito Blue um LR Goku Black, <laughs> that's going to be broken. Two LRs with 150%. Yeah, yeah that, that's broken. Uh, then it's going to be Murza Master, Rosé, and then the Gohan, hopefully, and the uh, Tech Vegito support. So very... So I haven't even gotten to the super attack and the passive yet, and the links, but this is going to be a serious, serious team, guys. Um, you can throw in Weirus as well, just to, you know, for laughs, like, throw in support. You're not going to, you're not going to throw in all those immense damage units, or the LR units that I just mentioned, but it's going to be an insane team, insane team. Okay, let's get into the pass, uh, the super attack, gigantic blast, causes immense damage to the enemy, and greatly lowers defense of the enemy. Uh, passive is 
check this out. Changes intelligence key, key orbs to physical key orbs. Attack and defense 10% up per physical key sphere obtained. So she is like the intelligence rage trunks. She is a orb, she's an immense damage unit, greatly lowers defense, a, a key, a, uh, an orb changer, and a nuker. Undokand. So when, when she Dokan awakens, like that attack and defense 10% up per physical key, key sphere obtained, that is just going to go up. That is just going to go up to 15% or 18%. That is, that is, wow. I don't know if you hear, heard me scratching my head, but wow. This is, this is a really good unit. I don't know, I don't know who's going to get the boot on super physical, but she, she's in. She is in. Then we've got medium chance to dodge enemy attacks. And then guaranteed to get an additional attack and a medium chance for that additional attack to be a super attack. That is Kale's mechanic. And then she get and then the medium chance to dodge is Khalifa's uh, uh, dynamic for their passive. So this is literally a fusion between the two cards, not just the two characters in Dragon Ball Super. Amazing card, amazing unit. Links. Super Saiyan, now this is where the card is not that good, okay, so Super Saiyan, Battlefield Diva, Fused Fighter, Power Bestowed by God, Warriors of Universe 6, so, um, I don't know what the, I, I don't know by heart what those links are, categories are Patara, uh, Peachy Peachy Girl, and Universe Survival Arc, so, uh, the, the so the only, I, the only key link I know, I know, I uh, the only key links I know are Fused Fighter, that's key plus two, and uh, Warriors of Universe 6. I'm pretty sure Warriors of Universe 6, that is a, um, I think that's a, I think that's a key plus two link. Super Saiyan is, uh, 10%. You know what? You know, uh, let's see if she's already got, uh, if she's already on the, uh, on the um the the the, the wiki right here. So we're gonna hit Kefla. Kefla. No, she's not on yet. She's not on yet. Yeah, it was a bit too soon. But power bestowed by God, and tournament of power as well. So she's not gonna link. She's not gonna link very well with other units. But all she all you really need is that the key plus three from the lead and the fuse fighter. She's gonna link incredibly well on with anyone. With any with any fuse fighter, so you can put uh, you can put Vegito Blue, or Super Vegito, or Goku Black next to her, and she's gonna do incredibly well. Now, onto something else. The fact that she has released without a token, this is I think the important part of the video I want to talk about. The fact that she has not. Uh, got a Dokkan Awakening. The fact that she has not got a Dokkan Awakening, it falls in line exactly with the... falls in exactly in line with Ultra Instinct Goku. Ultra Instinct Goku did not get a Dokkan Awakening, which means they haven't got... they haven't got a Fierce Battle. But what it does mean... what it does mean is that they are probably going to uh, give us a amazing banner. Because there are several characters that have been released, but have not got Dokkan Awakenings. I'm talking about Ultra Instinct Goku. Obviously, Super Saiyan Kefla. And then two other units. Khalifa, the first ever female Super Saiyan, and Kale. They have not got Dokkan Awakenings. They are only SSR forms with and then Z awakened to a, a UR. They have not got TURs yet. So when, so I think that they are actually going to uh, awaken, not awaken. They're actually going to give us a banner with maybe with Jiren as well. I think they're saving up for. They're going to put Jiren in that banner as well, and that banner is going to be insane <laughs> with Jiren as well. That's what I think they're going to do. Maybe they'll give Durkan awakenings to. Uh, like to like Topo, and um, I don't I can't remember what that, the other guy's name is. The 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 universe the the three the three wolves the universe with the three wolves who already got erased. I think that card might get a Dokkan Awakening as well. 
but I think that's what they're going to do. They're going to wait until Jiren drops, and maybe some other units as well, and give you Jiren, Ultra Instinct Goku, uh, Super Saiyan Kefla, Super Saiyan Khalifla, and Super Saiyan Kale, Berserk, all Dokkan Awakening. They're going to they're gonna release a, a new banner with all those units together, with new events, and they're going to give all of them Dark and Awakenings at the same time. That's what I think is going to happen. It's it's a it's a big prediction like to get to have all of them get Dokans at the same time because it would make more business sense to release them separately. But if you release them all in one banner, then like that, that's gonna that's gonna that's gonna, that's gonna generate a lot of revenue. That's gonna generate a lot of revenue. Let's put it that way. But anyway, guys, I think that's going to be it from this uh, this news video. Uh, I don't normally do these, but but I mean this this Kefla. They're going to release Keflas. They're going. This is not the only Kefla they're going to release. Like she might get a Super Saiyan three. I think there's going to be a base form Kefla. It, it might fall in. Like it might fall the, follow the same trend as the Vegitos, where Tech Vegito is a support unit. We might get a base form Kefla. That's a, also a support unit. I, I'm I'm pretty sure that that's going to happen. So. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this uh, this impromptu news video. I wasn't gonna do this, but I I just felt I just had to get some things off my chest, guys. Finally got that Patara category leader. It could have been Vegito Blue, but I, I, LR Vegito Blue, uh, who's gonna fit amazingly on this category. This category is gonna be amazing. Uh, but I guess LR Vegito Blue is not going to be um, a, a, a Patara lead now because that would just take completely take away from this Kefla. So anyway, guys. Hope you enjoyed this uh, this video, and I'll see you guys next time for some more Dragon Ball Z Do Dokkan battle. Bye, guys.